Let me do this. Ta-da! 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 Finally getting these bad boys installed. I've been putting this off for way too long. I've literally had for this for probably three weeks and these for about two weeks. Um, showed these off last night on the show. Yes. So this is what's going into Win Hell. And actually, this is Win Hell version. Well, we're very, very far into my name scheme of Win Hell on my computers. Uh, this was one here. So uh, do you guys ever recall? This is not the Winhell with the deep cool RGB fans in. Uh, it's not the deep cool case. Uh, that's actually still together. That's my dual Xeon. This is my Radeon or Ryzen. Radeon. Derp, 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 derp. It is a Ryzen 7 1800X. Um, picked up a really good deal with a bunch of good stuff in it. Um, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, but since then, I've decided to do some upgrades. One, power supply is just not enough, because every time I try to overclock my graphics card, it goes, I, 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 I can't do it. So we are going to do it with the 850 watt EVGA GA Gold. I decided, being as this case, I don't have any of my RGB fans in this, the Corsair Lighting Node Pro, being as I already had the all-in-ones, a Corsair Hydro, and then I also got myself, or I've got the Corsair IQ mouse. So I went ahead and got me 32 gigs of uh, DDR4 3200. And I bought these because I already have 32 gigs, but I wanted to go stay with 32 gigs. But I also wanted to uh, future-proof my next upgrade, which is going to be going to a Ryzen 3000. This is going to be a fun one because I do need to... It is time for me to pull the water block or the uh, all-in-one block uh, off the CPU and redo the thermal paste. I also want, think I wanted to go through the fans on this, but I got to do rewiring in no matter what because I need to put a new power supply in. So there's a bunch of work ahead. Hotness. Da, 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 da. One thing I, oh, there was one more thing I've completely neglected. I'm going to do, and that is, I'm this case, I'm going to put on one of my, uh, I had a link to these. This is a 90 degree bend for power supplies. That's going to go on the new power supply, so I can get rid of this whole flip up here. I don't like that. Once you start getting into water cooling, the fun part is getting your hands into tight little spaces where they, because for whatever reason, manufacturers love to put the motherboard, the CPU power right here. I may have to pull out my rad just to get my hands on it. Let me pull the... All right, kids, it's never easy when you're trying to get big hands in little spaces. All right, oh, I hate this connector. Fun part's gonna be getting something back in there. All right, did I get the move cable? Here we go. Mm. That was horrible. Um, I'm upset because they don't put anywhere to color. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Oh, sexy, sexy beast. I need one CPU. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in f in the motherboard first because that's going to be the hard one to do. That's the one I'm gonna be cussing a lot, or cussing the boat with. How hard it is to get down in there. The uh, It's like literally down in there. You've got a connector is like way down in there, so it's kind of almost impossible. Oh, jeez. 
is like next to impossible to get your hands in there. Downside to when you have a look, you know what? I'm just gonna have to do this. There we go. That cable's done. So now I can. Ta da! Oh. Now I can. Before I bolt that up, I want to do this. I have not checked my uh, thermal paste in a while. Ah, uh, it came off the wrong end. Oh, you suck too. That CPU has been had thermal paste reapplied. That's nice and secure. Let's get rad screws for the radiator tightened back down and have the rad put back into its place. There we go. Now we can start running cabling. Got to mount this wherever a good place for it. So I'm thinking about putting it up here. Guess what I'll do? I'm gonna mount it right here. Then I can run the power cord down to here, and then I can start my lead right off up there. So I think that's gonna be the best bet. Let's do. And this is that 90 degree bend. So what you do is you just mount this. Mounts right on there. Very, very snug fit. And it's PCB here, so it's real snug. And now I have this nice solid flat cable right there. And I don't have to worry about this big cable that sticks up. Still going to have it on the graphics card, but right there on the motherboard, that just looks so much better with the 90 degree bend. But I love that connector. Links down below. All right, so that is there. CPU's there, graphics card. I'll feed down like so. Still stuck with this ugly cable here, but I can zip tie it back and clean that up. All right, I think other than fans and hard drives, motherboard and graphics card is all squared away. completely admit this is not the cleanest I could have done it I'm quite upset with myself but once I'm playing uh, you know once I'm playing my games again I, I, I'll get over it <laughs> in there like that and stays that way. All right, let's flip this over. I now have to figure out the LED situation. 
and I really do not want to put it right here. I'm not a big fan of putting LEDs on the uh, LEDs where you can actually see them. I know I'm putting one right here. Okay, so here's the USB. I forgot I need to plug that in. So that's another cable I got to take care of. Oh, I may have to move the controller. I didn't realize that was that short. Change of plans, possibly. Oh yeah, that's drastically gonna change my location. Well, I'm glad I did that now. So let's do this. So yeah, I have to move this again. Like most people won't show you making, they're make, you know, making mistakes or not putting things around. I was like, I'm gonna do that, I don't care. A lot of times computer buildings trial by error. The way it goes. Put an LED strip up there? I could. I'm almost half tempted on putting one inside here. What I'm thinking about doing is putting one inside here because that'll put a glow inside here, just enough. It's just a hint. I mean, I can probably do that. There's actually, how much glass is there that... Okay, so I can clearly see up there. It only blocks up to that metal piece. I don't want it on the back here because that's going to be reflecting forward where I can see it. Really not a whole lot of space to do this. This is the hard part when you get LED strips and you can't really, I, I don't want to see them. I just want them to put a light in my case. That should give me some glow towards the top of the motherboard. This will give me a glow towards the back of the case. RGB is in. So now the RGB is in. Last bit. Corsair RAM. Last coup de grace. Last bit of sexy. I'm getting rid of the 2400s. I'm hoping this will give me that much needed little oomph of happiness. Plus, I mean, seriously, look at those. Those are freaking sexy. There we go. RGB is in. The Corsair 32 gigs of RAM is in. Water block's been rethermal pasted. I'm blow this thing out and I got new LED in there's two of them above the motherboard and actually behind the back plate and I'm hoping that'll add a neat little effect so I'll play around with it with the software but uh, yeah there we go oh look at that that's friggin colorful Sorry. So far, so good. And actually, the lighting behind the motherboard actually does look good. It's it you can just slightly see it, but it does look good. Well, that's a unique development. So, RGB was working. Went to IQ, it found the Note Pro, and then it stopped. Just freaking stopped. Uh, I, and then, so I told the RGB Pro that it had lights, the software crashed. All right, reloaded the software, relaunched the software, and unfortunately, uh, well, then it said that, hey, there's a,
doing to my computer? Mm, I'm, I'm messing it up. Wait a minute. What do you mean you're messing it up? Because I want to make you have pink. Why are you making my computer have pink? Because it's your favorite color now. It's, uh, wait a minute. It is now? <laughs> Rude.